We just had some quick stuff. There was a 43 car train derailment last week carrying fertilizer. It's probably nothing. No uh, big deal. No big deal. Probably don't need that. I have this pizza thing I realized. Richard Rappoy and I had pizza the other day from a really good place in town, and we went to go pick it up. And I saw the people making pizzas for other people while I was waiting for my order. And I noticed they have the pie, they make the dough. It's an Italian place. Everyone's got hairy forearms. Mm. And then they're doing the flip flop back and forth the, with the stuff, and the and the dough is going all over people's arms, or, or arm hairs just getting soaked up into that. Uh, you have to imagine yes, the answer. Uh, it's a very handsy process. Yeah, and I guess what it gets burnt off in the oven, so we have like burnt hair pizza every time now. Ugh. And it's 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 been a part of the process for years and years and generations. So I mean. I think they've accounted for it, and I'm just going to stop thinking about it. Yeah, well, I can't stop thinking about it after what I saw. So I'm hoping, I don't know, maybe there's a change to the industry. Maybe they can advertise, like, no Clubs hair. Clubs that go up to here, yeah. like, something like that. Wouldn't that be needed? Waxing services for pizza men? Mm-hmm. No, no arm hair pizza would be ideal. This is like a Nathan for you type thing. Yeah. Lead with that, say zero arm hair, and then everybody, the only thing they're thinking about is arm hair and pizza. <laughs> yeah. It's actually brilliant. Oh, uh, yeah. It's actually brilliant. Thank you. Just I mean, you're not going to stop eating pizza, though. I'm not going to stop eating pizza, but I might stop going to pick it up. Okay. I don't want to even see it. I just want it dumped off at my doorstep like everything else. Left for me to just. It just originated out of thin air. No yeah. no face to the name of the Harry Potter. No arms. origin. I don't need to see the origin story. <laughs> All right, for sure. Uh, moving on. Uh, Memorial Day weekend was last weekend, and we have a fireworks update. Yeah. People were very sloppy with the fireworks, and there was a guy who went viral multiple angles who basically blew off his hand. He now has like a lobster claw. Like mm -hmm. uh, it's split down the middle, blown off, a finger was left on the ground. Because he had a firework. No shirt on as well. No he shirt, had, underwear. He's wearing underwear, shoes, and a firework in his hand, which he just held the whole time. Then it blew up. Then his hand became a lobster claw, blown out hand. Mm -hmm. And then he started drinking and like being cool about it. But well, I think he was in shock. I mean, he was like, "Well, hands fucking gone. Better chug the beer to look cool. Maybe it's a video." Final redemption for him. And apparently, he was being like a jerk all night, yelling, mm -hmm. super drunk, and then he did that. Yeah. So they were tying his um, hand up. They were tying like, uh, you know, putting a belt on his arm to stop the bleeding because it was just leaking blood. And then some other drunk girl was heckling him like, hey, that's what you get, banana man, because he was apparently <laughs> wearing a banana costume uh, earlier in the night. Um, but yeah, not worth it. That's what we want to talk about. We're not here to show the gore, the lobster claw. You can look it up. Um, it's It was in uh, Nevada, Moon Rocks, Nevada, which is apparently like a uh, crawl up the rocks in your Jeep uh, type event. Mm. And so the everyone it's a, it turns into a big party. Everybody gets drunk, and obviously some people do fireworks. Memorial Day, not even a fireworks holiday, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Um, you know, that's 4th of July. But we have had this discussion many times before. Fireworks have zero upside. Oh, yeah. Like, the same principle that applies to recording fireworks on your cell phone and being like, wow, there's the fireworks, knowing you'll never watch that video again. And instead, you're missing what's happening in real time exactly. as well. So you're missing it in the, in the beginning, you're missing it on the front side, and then you're never going to watch it on the back side. Exactly. And so uh, there's no upside to being the guy who's holding fireworks. I think that was so weird and... This guy just got humiliated. Yeah. It's a case of that's what you get. It kind of is. Yeah. And I mean, I don't know, dude. Hey, maybe one sacrificial lamb to remind everybody that like your hand can get super blown off and fireworks, chi presumably cheap Chinese made fireworks. Mm -hmm. You know how there's always like a factory explosion once a year of like, oh, that was a fireworks factory in China. Oh, exactly. This is an example of not an old wives tale. Yeah. You know, oh, you'll blow your hand off. You literally no. will. It's, it happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so if you're going to do fireworks for 4th of July, you're going to ignore all this good advice and this making fun of, let your uncle do it. Let let the guy who's a little more risky, who, you know, maybe doesn't need the hand. And if you're going to do it, do it in your in your non-dominant hand. That guy blew off his left hand. Yeah. I'm, sure, I'm, I'm assuming he's a righty. Yep. So there is some there is a silver lining there. Yeah, there you go. Um, and he and we have like other people like Jason Pierre Paul. You know you know him, right? Basketball? No, uh, football guy. He was on the Giants. Mm. Oh yeah, ninety know something. No, like two thousand. He's still no, no, number ninety something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's still in the league, and he famously blew off a finger and a half, I think, 
and he still plays. He plays football with a glove that's like this. I like that. Yeah. This guy, they found his finger the next day in the dirt, right? Yeah. Can we? You think we can show that? We can show that. We'll blur it a little bit. Okay. But yeah, that's what they found the next day. It's not getting reattached, probably. Oh, and the other funny thing, not funny, um, but this guy was holding it up, like blowing up the firework. And then, like, some other guy got hit directly in the chest, too. Mm. So he, he ruined his own life and endangered another. And the guy's, like, lung collapsed or something. So. Very interesting. Well, everyone can learn a lesson from that. Uh, moving on, we're still in housekeeping. I saw this video of something called FarmerBot. Oh, yeah. Where it's basically this robot that just does all your farming for you. Mm -hmm. Planting the seeds, moving it. Planting, watering it, sun, 24-7, runs its own thing. Pretty interesting. This is how I think Bill Gates farms. Mm. He owns a lot of farmland, Bill Gates, Gates of Hell. You have to travel through the gates, and he lets you, Bill Gates. Uh, bill, so, there's a bill. You have to pay for it. And then once you do pay it, you are submitted through the gate. Bill Gates, that's his role. Uh, so far, far, the, High-level analysis. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the farmer bot is very interesting to me. Um, it's kind of one of those things that you don't have to do anymore and farm it gets replaced like the stuff does stuff for you yeah and i think that's actually a, obviously a problem in society like back in the day you'd wake up you'd mow your lawn you'd get some eggs from the chicken you go to the store you'd mail a letter you fix your car mm -hmm. but now we don't have time for any of that because we have to get back to tiktok we have mm -hmm. to get back to teenagers lip-syncing cardi b songs yeah but poorly too. <laughs> like off beat a little bit and you're like huh something's not right so it's almost like instead, you know, instead of taking control of your life, they're going to give you even more ways to have convenience. So I guess farmer bot is that. Um, and it's weird because it's like it doesn't need anyone's no human support. But then it's like the farmer bot robot itself probably needs some sort of maintenance robot. Yeah, that's true. And okay. then you're not using the maintenance robot that much because the farmer bot robot is pretty efficient. So you have to like exercise the maintenance robot, maybe get some backup robots. And then you're kind of setting yourself up to get taken over by AI again. That's true. They can kind of turn on you and poison you and not, pr not produce your food. And if they have their own AI plan, the farmer bots would be a good place to carry it out. Yeah. And then it turns out there's only like three total people who know how to fix the maintenance bots. Mm -hmm. And then they're, they're getting paid. They're through the roof. And then you're back to overpaying for everything and not farming as efficiently as you thought you could. Yep. So that's usually how it goes down. Uh, final so you're anti-robot farming in any way? Uh, Are you like an Amish guy where you have to pick a point in time and you go, huh, 1855, that's about enough? Yeah. So the Amish, there's obviously machines and farming everywhere. Yeah. The Amish picked like 18 something. I would say like 1990 is where I would cut it off. Okay. If I could live in an Amish way, like a modern Amish, uh, I would pick like the 1990s. Broadband internet? Yeah, I would have internet. Yeah, internet. Slow internet though. Mm, yeah, maybe a little, maybe maybe early two thousands. Your career 2000s. is gone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the woods over. now. <laughs> it's just me and Farmer Bot in the woods now. Um, yeah, but maybe it's good to take back certain things in our lives. And like I'm the worst at that. I order Postmates and Uber Eats. I order Amazon. Loves the service economy. I, I groceries. People bring them to me. So if I want to get like you know instead of going out and getting an egg and cooking it, I'll buy an egg from some someone who already collected it and then I'll pay someone who already cooked it and then I'll have someone deliver it. Like I, I'm participating too much in the bad stuff. So maybe I zero, will. You have zero incentive in the supply chain or whatever. You have no role. You yeah. just get the end product. I, I just eat the, ben, the eggs Benedict. So do you think that's worth doing or uh, like? Well, I was thinking about taking control back, like taking back some of that market share, taking back some of that life. But then my life, I feel like, would be just me going and doing, like, chores. Tedious. It would be tedious. Tedious things. And it's like, oh, I have to go get an egg from Outback. And then I crack it on the frying pan. I'm cooking eggs now. And it's like a two-hour process to get a $5 egg sandwich. Mm. So I, I, I agree I, with you a little bit. Like, as long as you're being productive elsewhere, yeah. then it's like, sure. Like, time is the but, most valuable thing. Yeah. But if you're going to just sit around or whatever, it's like, you might as well kind of learn how to do it. But mm. Everyone needs to find their balance, I think. Because if there comes a time when no one's doing that stuff anymore and we have to figure it out ourselves and provide our own food, things could get pretty ugly. There was that fertilizer. Didn't you that fertilizer train derailment? What was that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Uh, all right. Last <laughs> piece of housekeeping before we get into the show. We have a great show today. Richard Rapway and I have been playing pickleball. And here is some pickleball action. Place your bets. Me versus Richard Rapway. One point. Let's see how it goes down.
there you have it. Obviously, I won the point. Uh, Richard Rapway could not keep up. If you guys thought that that's how it was going to go down, leave us a super thanks. Today's super thanks dollar amount is $5. If you were impressed by that pickleball point. <laughs> You're assigning a dollar amount? <laughs> Today's pickleball. Right. If you were impressed by the pickleball point we just showed, please send us a super thanks of $5. It goes a long way. It keeps the show alive. It keeps us alive as well.